early mobilization, i.e. the start of patient mobilization within 72 hours of admittance to the intensive care unit, represents an interdisciplinary targeted process for the improvement of the results of intensive care treatment. The example shown here is an intensive care patient at the University Clinic in Mainz, who is being treated with extracorporeal ILA therapy. The purpose of early mobilization is to promote and maintain mobility through improvement of skeletal and respiratory muscle function, increase hemodynamic responsiveness, improve central and peripheral perfusion and muscle metabolism. Active mobilization involves, for example, sitting on the edge of the bed, active standing mobilization, attempts to stand, walking exercises while standing, and walking with and without walking aids. Beyond this, further aims are to increase cognitive competence and physical well-being, reduce skin damage caused by pressure, and generally improve later health-related quality of life. The patient participates actively in the therapy, speaks with doctors and carers, and can cultivate social contacts. One benefit of mobilization that should not be underestimated also lies in the fact that the perspective of the patient and thus also his or her self-perception is fundamentally altered. He or she is no longer staring at the ceiling but rather adopts different positions. Independent eating and drinking is thus also possible again. This decreases the feeling of illness, increases self-esteem and promotes courage for further treatment. Beside these obvious benefits, there are also scientifically proven measurable parameters that improve the early mobilization of intensive care unit patients. Thus, for example, COPD patients who are mobilized early are capable of walking a longer distance in six minutes than patients without early mobilization. It was also possible to demonstrate shorter treatment periods and lower treatment costs as a result of early mobilization.